Experts estimate there are around 230 million diabetes sufferers around the world. By the year 2030, that number is expected to almost double. Most diabetics suffer from type 2 diabetes, largely brought on by being overweight and leading an unhealthy lifestyle. Because obesity and a sedentary lifestyle are major determinants for type 2 diabetes, the best thing that individuals can do is diet and exercise. You know, keep their diet um, to a point where they're, you know, at the appropriate weight and exercise as much as they can. And in many cases, even newly diagnosed diabetics that take that kind of approach, their diabetes will actually reverse. But there's another side to diabetes. Because I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, the insulin manufacturing cells within my pancreas shut down. They didn't make insulin anymore. So that's why I need to now inject insulin or take insulin from a pen or an insulin pump or a syringe or a vial so that I can control my blood sugar myself. 23-year-old Keegan Hall was diagnosed at the age of 16 and now he is passionate about spreading the word. He heads the youth arm of Young Leaders in Diabetes, a leading international NGO dedicated to diabetes education. I have a passion for diabetes and I really want to help people who first of all do not have access to the, the, the insulin or medication in order to control their diabetes. In South Africa the growth of diabetes cases is among the highest in the world. Michelle Craig, Johannesburg.